Uh, hello guys, uh, welcome to Nemtech channel. My name is Nehemiah. Uh, Renda guys, I'm very very much happy to have you on board. So today we are going to talk about the Python scope. Uh, but uh, before we start, I want to make uh, this simple request. If it's your first time to get into this channel, please take a second, subscribe, like and uh, share this video to your friend. Now back to the main topic I said today, it is Python scope. So let's understand uh, what is a uh, what is a scope. And so uh, basically a variable is only available from the inside of the region that uh, it is being created. And that is what we call the, the scope. And uh, let's begin by first understanding this uh, local scope. And uh, basically guys, uh, a variable created inside a function belong, uh, belongs to the local scope of that function. And that uh, can only be used inside uh, that function. And uh, perhaps let's uh, have the example here. And uh, we want to have an, a variable created inside a function, uh, you know, which is available inside uh, that function. And uh, basically, guys, you remember how uh, we define a function. So basically, we define a function using the div uh, keyword. You remember that? Uh, we discussed it in the uh, Python function uh, class. And uh, by uh, let's uh, let me just define this function. I said that. Uh, we define it using the div uh, keyword and then uh, perhaps let me give it this uh this uh, uh name so let me say my uh my function or uh, let me just shorten it to be my func and then uh let me uh you remember you close with what you close with this uh, colon and then uh, guys uh i said that uh, uh a local scope uh in the local scope a uh, variable is created inside a function uh inside you know uh uh, the function uh, of, you know of that function and uh, of which it can only be used uh, inside that function and uh, basically this is what we are doing so uh, here let me create now this function uh, this are uh, you know variable and then uh, perhaps let me assign it to a value like uh, let me say 500 and then uh, let me say print uh, let me say print what let me say print uh, x uh, x and then uh, now uh, let me say what let me say um, uh, let me say uh basically my uh, my func my function this uh this uh, name here so guys i remember how to run shift plus f10 to run this code in our terminal and then i uh, guess you can see that we have this uh kind of value here at the terminal so basically guys uh, this uh all about the uh, the local scope uh, you know uh the python local scope now let's understand uh, the function inside the inside the function and i uh, guess uh as uh, we explained, as I've just explained in this example, guys, uh, the variable x, uh, this one that we have just used, this variable x, uh, is not available outside the function, but uh, it is available for, for any function inside the, uh, you know, this uh, function. Now, uh, the local variable can be accessed from the, uh, from a function within the, uh, within the function. So, uh, guys, uh, let me have this example and um, perhaps uh let me clear everything so that we may begin uh with you uh, I, I like you repeating myself so that uh, someone can get everything very very clearly now we define a function using the div keyword and then uh, let me see uh let me give it this name my function my func my func my func and then uh you close with these rounded brackets and then you close with the uh these are uh, what these are colon and then uh, let me create this uh, variable assign it to this value uh, like uh, 100 or whichever value you have and then uh, now uh, let me uh, define this a uh, second uh, function i said that uh, we are talking about the function inside the uh, the function so i'm creating another function and then uh, here let me give it this uh, name like uh, this one let me say my uh, perhaps let me say my inner my inner function my inner function uh, my inner function and then uh, let me close with these uh, rounded brackets and then uh, you remember guys always to close with the columns and then uh, here let me say print uh, print what print uh, x and then uh, what else uh, let me say my uh, first of all let me re remove this uh, indentation there then uh, let me say my my uh, inner function and then uh, also the other one the other function here it was uh, my uh, my func now guys uh, to run it you remember the shortcut shift plus a 10 and then i uh, guess you can see that uh, we still have this uh, value here so basically guys uh, this day uh, these are 
uh, you know the function inside the the function so uh guys uh, you realize that uh, variable x is not available you know outside the function but uh, it's available you know for any function inside the function now these are uh, the local variable can be accessed uh, from a function within within the function as uh, guys you, you've just uh, seen uh, here now let's talk about the local scope this was the actually the global scope this was the local scope and then again so now uh, about the global scope a variable created in the uh, basically a variable created in the main body of the python code is a global uh, you know variable and that belongs to the global scope now the global variable are you know available from the within uh, any scope uh, you know the global and uh, the the local uh, for example guys i want us to have here an example of a variable created outside uh, of a function uh, which we call it a uh, global and that uh, can be used you know by anyone and uh, perhaps let me clear everything first of all and then uh, let me say uh, let me create now this variable i say that it's created outside the uh you know outside the uh, the function uh i say that uh, basically i say that a uh, global scope is a variable uh you know uh, uh which is created uh, uh in the main body of the python code and uh, uh it's a global variable and that belongs to the global scope and basically i say that a global variable are available from the within uh, any scope of, and uh, any scope be it uh, the global or the local now um so basically i've just created this uh, variable name it is x and then i'm gonna assign it to uh, any value like uh, i said last time i used 300 uh, 100 let me just use 100 and then i guess uh let me create now this other function here let me create uh, my function here we define a function using the uh, def keyword then uh, let me say my uh, my func uh, my function uh, the short form of the function then uh, we close with what we close with the uh, basically we close with this uh, uh, this called what uh, a full colon then uh, let me print uh, print what let me say print uh, x let me say print x and then also perhaps um let me say my my func and also let me say print uh, basically print uh, print uh, x print x then i shift to class 18 uh, to run the codes and then i guess you can see that we have uh, you know these values here so basically guys uh this day uh a global scope and uh guys uh, to remind you i say that uh, these are uh, a variable created uh in the main body of the uh, python code uh this is what we call the uh you know the global variable and uh, which belongs to the global scope and then uh, guys uh, perhaps let's uh, talk about naming the variable now if you operate within the same variable name inside the inside and outside of a function python will treat them uh, you know as a uh, two separate variables one uh, available in the global scope which which is outside the function and then uh, the other one uh, in available in the local scope which is inside the function and uh, basically guys uh, let me have an example here uh, which we are going to have a function uh, which will print uh, the local uh, perhaps x and then uh, also the and then uh, the code will uh, print the global scope x and uh, just like you've seen but uh, but then i want us to repeat uh, again uh, there's no need to repeat I guess you have just seen that we have this uh, you know global scope and also we have the local scope which is inside the function so guys you, you realize that it prints uh, you know two uh two at uh, two values but then uh, let me just uh clear everything and uh, repeat um repeat again let me just re uh, clear everything so let me create first of all this a uh, global a uh, variable here and assign it to a value like um uh, like a 300 and then uh, let's have a function here with final function using the div keyword. Then uh, let me give it my uh, my function, my func, uh, my func, uh, my function. <laughs> let me say my func. Then I uh, close with these uh, rounded brackets. And then uh, let me say what? Let me say uh, x. Then uh, let me create this. Uh, you know, this is what you call the local uh, scope. Then uh, perhaps this one. Let me give it something like a 500 and then uh, let me say print uh print what let me say print uh print um x let me say print x 
So guys, uh, you, you're going to see the output, but before that, before that, uh, let me create what? Let me create uh, these are uh, my uh, my what? My funk here, and then also print, uh, print what? Uh, print um, uh, print uh, x again. So shift plus F10, and then I guess you can see that we have two values there. So basically, the function uh, has printed the you know the local uh, x, and also uh, the code which uh, you know will print in the global uh, you know x. We, you see that we have two values there. And uh, basically, guys, uh, perhaps let's understand this uh, global keyword. So uh, if you need to create a global variable, but uh, you know, but uh, are stuck in the local scope, and then you can use the global keyword. The global keyword. Uh, the global. Uh, the global keyword makes the variable you know global. Now, uh, if you use the global keyword, then uh, the variable belongs to the global scope. Perhaps let's have this example here. Let me just. Um, let me just do this. Uh, clear everything as usual, and then uh, let's define this uh, function using the uh, the div keyword. And then uh, let me create what? Let me create my function. Uh, my function, my fun, uh, actually my func or uh, my function, whichever way it works. And then uh, let me close with this uh, colon, and then uh, here let me define this uh, to be a global, to be a global variable x. So guys, I see that any variable inside uh, you know a function. Uh, is, a, is, a, is, a, is, a, is a local uh, variable but then now uh, if we use the global keyword then uh, it's gonna create it's gonna make it uh, uh, belong to the what you know to uh, the global what uh, the global scope now uh, let me say now sorry uh, hmm, this should be uh, x let me give it x first of all and then I uh, here sorry guys uh, I don't know mm, let me say x uh, x mm -hmm. uh, I don't know what's the problem with this stuff here but then uh, let me just say uh, global global then uh, x and then uh, also uh, I want to, <laughs> to to make it go in the in the next line but then it's gonna it's giving me an error here so uh, what I do let me just say uh, x here and then I do this. Let me just uh, clear here. And then uh, let me just say what. Let me just say uh, x. I'm gonna give it uh, any value like. Uh, let me say it was 500 degrees. And then uh, again uh, here. Let me say. Let, let me now create this. Uh, let me just create this. Uh, let me say my function, my func. And then I'll define this. Uh, uh, let me say print. Uh, let me say print what print uh, x now uh, what I'm gonna do is to click on the shift uh, plus uh, F10 shift plus F10 and then I uh, guess you can see that we still have the you know the values are uh, here so basically guys uh, if you use the global keyword the variable belongs to the global scope but then uh, this one should be the local scope uh, because it is inside the uh, you know this are function but then uh, because we have used the global scope uh, basically the global keyword it is now in the global scope so guys uh, also uh, we use the global keyword if you want to make a change on the global variable inside the uh, the function uh, let's have an example like uh, to change the value the value of a global variable inside the function and then uh, we refer to the variable by using the uh, global keyword so uh, uh, let me say what let me say what let me clear everything and then uh, as usual be, we begin afresh and then uh, let me say x and then assign it to any value like a uh, uh, 300 and then uh, let me say day uh, let me de define this function and then uh, let me give it this name my function my function and then uh, uh, let me say what uh, close first of all and then uh, here let me uh, make it to be a global a uh, global what a uh, global stuff and then uh, here let me say what a uh, uh, basically a global scope <laughs> sorry guys and then uh, here let me say x and then uh, assign it to uh, any value like uh, 100 you know, whichever value and then uh, here again uh, let me say define this uh, let me say my function and then I uh, also print uh, print what? Uh, print um, x. Print x. 
so basically guys uh, we, uh, we we want to change we have just changed the value of the global variable inside our function and then um, uh, we refer to the variable by using the global uh, keyword here this one uh, this keyword here so basically let me click on the shift plus uh, f10 and then i guess you can see that we still have these uh you know uh, values here it has not printed uh two values there so basically guys uh, uh we use uh, the global keyword if you want to make a change on the global variable uh, inside the function so basically guys uh, this is what i wanted to show you in this video we have just talk about the uh you know python scope but i think you've gained something so uh if you find that uh, the video has been of help to you please take a second subscribe like and share this video to your friend until next time goodbye